So we're in the demo lab with Lonnie, who's prepared iron oxide and aluminum together so we can see that reaction. Now, this reaction is actually the reaction that was responsible for the Hindenburg disaster. The German dirigible was painted with aluminum paint over an iron superstructure that had iron oxide rust on it. And the reaction between the two is what caused that dirigible to flame and melt. The iron actually melted. Let's see if we can see that happen in our experiment. Lonnie's going to start the reaction by igniting a magnesium fuse. So that bright white is magnesium. Now the thermite, the iron oxide and aluminum, is reacting. And you saw molten iron pour from the bottom. It happened quickly, so here's a slow motion replay. The reaction is beginning. Now, as the reaction takes place, watch the bottom of the crucible. Molten iron will pour from the bottom. Here it comes. So there's a chemical reaction that's so violently exothermic that the product is molten iron. Lonnie can come in and demonstrate that there's still a tremendous amount of heat being given off by that iron. Indeed, such a tremendous amount of heat that Lonnie can enjoy one of his favorite campfire favorites.